grenade! <laughs> Isn't that cool? There's a grenade! <laughs> anyway, so I could use the other grenade I have, but I chose not to because I am smart. <laughs> well, I did the same thing because I thought to myself, might need that! I mean, I am not going to die. This is barely the first boss. And we are still learning how to play the game. Surely this will not be too difficult. Riku is actually my favorite female character in this game. <laughs> well, Just... I didn't have the chance to hang out with her for long before we had to separate. Yeah. Because the plot demanded it. But she seems nice. Danton was... So into Lulu, the black mage. Oh, it's the bells, isn't it? <laughs> it's all the <laughs> bells. So many bells. It's more bells than human. <laughs> I have to wonder, how the heck did she put that on in the morning? Well, she probably wakes up at 6 a.m. every morning just for that. Oh, camera, what are you doing? <laughs> Come on, she's underage. Oh. oh, a girl. I am definitely looking around and emoting. Hey. Oh, you somehow grabbed my hair, even though you're not actually holding my hair. Very awkward close-up of his face. That's nice. Ouch! I think Kuno means sorry in Albed. Yes. Well, either that or I'm going to punch you in the stomach. To be honest, the first time I saw that scene, I thought I actually screamed out, She kicked us in the balls! <laughs> The animation is so awkward that uh, that seems like a valid interpretation. Yeah, but then the uh, Danto is all like, no, she punched you in the stomach, man. <laughs> is Dante present for every major moment of your life? <laughs> Not really. He seems to. <laughs> because it's every probably... time you speak about a game that you played, hey, let's see what Dante thinks about it. Well, it's just that me and Danton played a lot of games. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He's escaped from... From Mad Max, hasn't he? Okay, uh, sir, Mr. Punkman, wrong apocalypse! This is not Okuto no Ken! <laughs> I said I don't understand. Fed. He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. Oh, you can speak my language, English. <laughs> All right. All right. Yes. I'll work. <laughs> uh, well, it's time for a much-needed change of career for good old Terryton. Yep. And now um, it's time to learn about the most egregious change in this game. The Sphere Grid! You mean the nothing grid? <laughs> oh, I wish it were that simple. More like the duh grid. <laughs> the why even bother grid? Why is this a thing grid? Why change... Something that worked so well in past games for this. You see, this is innovation for the sake of innovation, and uh, it oftentimes doesn't lead to a good place. You had this simple, straightforward leveling up system that worked fine, but no, you completely substituted with the grid. 
And now there is this never-ending tutorial explaining how the grid works. And I am looking at all this, bug-eyed, just baffled and mouth agape, and I wanted to quit forever. <laughs> this is a bit overwhelming. So basically, this grid, advancing in this grid and unlocking abilities in this grid will determine how your character pans out. But in order to work this grid, you have to grind for spheres and for points. You need to grind for points, not to unlock new abilities, but for the privilege of moving up and down the grid. <laughs> and then you have to grind for spheres in order to unlock specific abilities correlated to those spheres, which means that if you want to unlock an ability linked with physical prowess, you need a power sphere. If you want to unlock a speed ability, you need a speed ability. If you want to unlock an ability ability, you need an ability sphere. It's madness. You basically have to grind for a million different things which, in fairness, they all come from the same identical place, which is combat, so... Okay. But it's insanity! Why do this? <laughs> Leveling up in this game means getting one point, which is what you use to move in the grid. Which is insanity! And you know what? The worst part is that they brought this grid back for Final Fantasy XIII, but they made it so insultingly, unbelievably simple that it might as well not exist at all. Oh yeah, the Crystarium, I believe it was called. <laughs> Whatever it was called, it was uh, Bollocks. It makes yes. this grid look complex and intuitive at the same time, comparatively <laughs> speaking. Oh, there is no real depth in this sphere grid, by the way. It's surprisingly linear. Yeah. And it has then... to be linear because otherwise you would have to spend a lot of points to go to another direction altogether without getting the abilities that you actually need in order to beat this game. So you might as well stack yourself with whatever direction you're going at the moment. Exactly. After getting past the initial shock, it's not so bad. I mean, it's not ideal, but I can tolerate it because I am enjoying everything else so much. Well, yeah, it's pretty much the only reason why I completed the game anyway. Even though there were still some negatives, in my opinion, based on the... Uh certain aspects of characters and certain parts of the story as well as uh the sphere grid <laughs> the sphere grid the sphere grid being a bit pointless in my opinion yes it was just made to make busy work out of the rpg experience it's basically busy work and it's quite annoying. Basically, whenever I level up, I actually make sure to accumulate a fair few points before I even bother to do this process, which takes me about 10 minutes in total to do it for every single character in my party. Yeah, which was the same for me, actually, when I was younger, when I okay, played so this game. There is a lot more to say about the usage of characters during a battle situation, but that's an argument I will reserve for the next session of this game, because yes, I have recorded about three or four hours worth of material, and we shall purview all of them <laughs> in due time. This particular video is nearing its end, so we shall have it at that. At that beautiful, beautiful sphere grid, which, looking at it from a distance, it just resembles some incomprehensible Aztec griff. It's ridiculous to look at. It's just... How could anybody not feel completely overwhelmed by this, especially when they drop this massive tutorial on you? And apparently it's not the end of it, there is more later on. 
<laughs> oh, Look brother. at how huge this is. Oh my gosh, this includes all the other characters as well. Yeah, because later on you could, if you really wanted to, you could just basically break out into other characters' grids, but there's really no point in doing it at all. Mm, I so realized that. I actually did decide when I finished up, you know, the characters in their profession, essentially, I would go into another person's profession to basically see how well that would pan out, but there's no point because, for example, with Riku, I basically decided, oh, I'll take her through the black magic of Lulu to see how well that would go. Completely pointless. <laughs> it doesn't go well, does it? No. So there's really no point in taking characters out of the comfort zone of what, you know, the game starts you in at all. I just don't know why it's even an option. <laughs> well, they didn't think this through clearly, and it's one huge blemish in an otherwise overwhelmingly positive experience in so far. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. this is going on still, and here I am trying desperately to figure out how this actually works, and once I did, uh, I uh, felt a bit silly. <laughs> Honestly, whenever I see a wall of text that passes for a tutorial, I tend to glaze over it because I just cannot, I cannot stomach it. I tried real hard to focus on this one, but yeah. still, I ended up learning on my own regardless. So, it's actually not as complicated as it looks, and understand, it looks really complicated, but it actually isn't. Yeah, pretty much. This is all just a pointless presentation that makes it look important and complex and deep, but it's actually a big waste of time. Basically, all of this, all of these abilities, you could have simply unlocked them automatically as you leveled up your characters in a traditional context. But no, with this system, you have to go and manually level them up and manually select their abilities, even though they were going to get those abilities to begin with. Yeah, you this see is what I nonsense! Mean? Complete I mean? nonsense! <sighs> anyway... Oh, brother. Shut up! Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, we'll get to him. <laughs> right. He's worse than 10 too, just so you know. Brother. Brother is worse than 10 too. So oh, I'm, no. He's I'm... worse than pretty fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that. <laughs> Honestly, it's not so bad. I thought he was going to be much worse. No, but yes, I'm, it's worse than Ten Two. <laughs> well, it's not a playable character in Ten Two, so there is that. Because the original we're totally the... winning the tournament, eh, brother? <laughs> okay, <laughs> brother. Yes. Right. So this is the end of the recording. So thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll be seeing you next time for the continuation and. Brother, we'll get one heck of a continuation, brother. Yes. <laughs> so good night, everybody. Take care. Take care of yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>